So hernias come in many different shapes and sizes. They can come in the groin, or they can sometimes form as a complication after prior operation. In that case, we call that an incisional hernia. The biggest impact that I've seen of robotic surgery is in the repair of incisional hernias, which can be quite large and quite complicated uh, and challenging to fix. And the more conventional way of repairing these hernias, which does work well in some hands, is to make quite a big incision uh, and to reconstruct the abdominal wall. Uh, these surgeries take a lot of time and the recovery from these surgeries uh, tends to be quite prolonged. It can take many weeks to recover. So where we've really seen the impact of robotic surgery is in the repair of these complex abdominal walls where actually the recovery time is dramatically shortened. Uh, patients have much less pain after surgery uh, and the cosmetic effect is excellent. Um, and I think we will see a significant uh, increase in the number of these procedures performed this way in the coming years. Incisional hernias can be really challenging because the anatomy is very variable and because um, the, uh, the surgery is technically very demanding. Um, when you've had a prior surgery, the body forms scar tissue inside the abdominal cavity and uh, we call that adhesions. That, those adhesions sometimes can be very, very dense and very difficult to dissect through uh, without causing injury to important organs like the bowel. And so robotic surgery allows us to perform that adhesiolysis, so the takedown of those adhesions, but then also the reconstruction of the muscles of the tummy wall uh, very, very precisely and allows us to do something that is very difficult to do with keyhole surgery. So putting in sutures, for example, is really very straightforward uh, and getting a really good low tension uh, uh, repair is, is suddenly uh, much more straightforward. All surgery carries risks and uh, repair of hernias is no different, however you repair it. Uh, we always warn patients that there is a risk of common sense uh, complications such as bleeding or wound infection although the risk of that is quite low so the risk of wound infection is around two percent the risk of major hemorrhage is less than one percent the major risk really with this procedure is the risk that the hernia recurs that you go through all of this surgery and at the end of it uh, the hernia comes back that risk can be mitigated against and the biggest thing that we have to talk about with patients having this procedure is in fact not the robotic procedure it's actually often around the themes of weight loss, because we know that obesity is the number one risk factor for hernia recurrence, and also the, the cessation of smoking. So of course, not all patients smoke, but in those who do smoke, stopping smoking quite often is the most important thing for reducing the risk of hernia recurrence. There is always a risk also with this procedure of having chronic pain in the wound after these uh, operations. Uh, and also because we put a mesh in, to, to reinforce that repair. We will also counsel patients about the use of mesh. There has been a lot of misinformation around mesh uh, because there have been some well-described problems in other use cases, such as vaginal prolapse repair. But in the repair of incisional hernias, mesh is the standard of care. It's been used in many, many millions of patients and we know it to be safe. So there are general risks, there are specific risks, uh, and we think we can reduce those with robotic surgery. With this procedure, um, it is very variable between different patients because incisional hernias are very variable by definition. Sometimes they're very large and sometimes they're very small. But generally, patients will come to the operating uh, room on the morning of surgery. So they, they get admitted through the hospital on the day of the procedure. They will see an anaesthetist and they will come to the operating room where they will have usually a general anaesthetic. Sometimes we have to put in a spinal anaesthetic because it numbs the abdomen and, then help, and it helps with the recovery. And we will often give patients uh, patient-controlled analgesia, so a button that they can press to manage their pain relief postoperatively. The operations take a variable, variable amount of time and they can range from anywhere from an hour and a half up to six hours. Um, and it really just depends on the complexity and the size of the hernia that we do. Uh, we operate with a team, so we typically operate with dual consultants because we think that that is safer and it's better for, for decision making. So usually you'll have two consultant surgeons operating, one will be at the console of the robot and one will be at the bedside uh, and together we make decisions during the case on how best to operate. And of course there is a big team uh, who are specialised in the use of robotic systems in the operating room with us at the same time. Uh, after the surgery, uh, you will go to recovery where we keep an eye on you and make sure that you're comfy before returning you to the ward. 
Sometimes with these operations, patients need to go to high dependency units for one night to recover, but most of the time, patients will go back to the ward and I would expect you to be up on your feet the following day. It's quite common to need drains that come out of the abdominal wall after this operation uh, because the repair can be quite extensive and, and this just helps take any excess fluid away from the wound. It reduces infection rates and helps with the recovery. So you might have those drains in for a few days after the operation and then we'll take them out. Of course, what we really want at the end of all of this is a happy patient and a happy patient invariably means a patient who is no longer in pain who has a good cosmetic result from the hernia repair so they don't have excessive scarring and they don't have the distressing bulge or, or defect that, that causes problems a good outcome means that it's a fast recovery so it means that patients are back home as quickly as possible uh, back with their loved ones but also back to work back to functioning back to performing sport or doing whatever it is that they love because maintaining activity and mobility is a key part of being healthy and so a really good success for this operation means being mobile so that's really what we're aiming for